So you want to start an Airbnb. That's a good idea. I recommend it. Airbnb has been an awesome uh, supplemental income for us. We have um, rented out our basement over in our real house and then we've been renting out this space, our bus conversion um, for the last six months, six, since six, September. Whew, that was a tongue twister. Six months since September. Um, and I just want to give you all a few tips for getting started out. You want to get started on the right foot so you have good reviews right off the bat and you don't have to dig yourself out of a hole as you get going. So number one, first tip is get good pictures. There's so many bad listings on Airbnb with bad pictures. <sighs> it's like your main thing. It's the main marketing piece. People are scrolling. You need bright, good, clean pictures on your listing. So hire a photographer or set up a tripod and shoot HDR and then do do it right. Do it good. Get straight lines, bright images, get some detail shots. Um, but just hire someone. I charge 175 for 25 photos for real estate. So you might want to uh, get a bigger a bigger package, more pictures. Because um, Airbnb is a little different than regular real estate. You want to get some of the cute details in your space. Good pictures. That's number one. Number two, communicate. You want to communicate lots early and good. Um, you want to set people's expectations right so when they show up, they're not disappointed. So our school bus is called Romantic Urban Glamping for Two. So the title, you need a good title so people know what it is. Um, it's romantic because there's a king size bed in the back with a fireplace. Um, it's urban, you're in a neighborhood so people know your our house is 10 yards away. Um, glamping, we want to set the expectations like it's just a little better than camping so when they show up they're like, whoa, this isn't glamping, this is like a real tiny house. Um, and for two, we don't want, you can't do more than two people in here. You can do kids in the front so if you ask, that's great. But good title, good communication, write it up in your listing. We have a composting toilet, we tell people about that. Um, just tell everyone what to expect, how to get in, you don't want people to get lost on their way in. Good instructions, you want to communicate. And then even through the app, when people ask a question, respond. Personal, good responses, timely. Um, there's auto responses now, so when someone first books, you can send a message, a pre-message automatically, but it's good to give the personal touch of a real text message. Um, respond to them. Uh, number three is the, the, the little details. Pay attention to the details. You want stuff to be cute and clean, well decorated, um, and kind of uh, nice, a good, you want a good vibe in your place. So if you don't know how to make stuff feel good, bring a friend over and ask them how it feels and what you can change and how you can, you know, put some art on the wall and make sure you have salt and pepper and oil and some other necessities. You want towels, you want soap, you want hand sanitizer, just all the things, coffee, coffee pot, plates, Make sure you have your 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 setup fully stocked. Um, a good tip is to just stay in it for a couple days before you rent it to anyone else. You're like, oh man, I wish we had toilet paper in here. That'd be great. And then you can run out and get toilet paper, and then you'll be good to go. Um, and then just be mindful of the little details. Number quattro. It goes with the last one, but you just want to have a clean space, especially now. People are nervous about dying from the COVID, so um, clean your space. There's like official guidelines for how to clean now, which we were doing before. Just spray everything that people touch, change out the sheets and <laughs> the linens, just clean it good. And you don't want people finding hairs. Um, we use a lint roller, just use a, use a lint roller on the bed and the pillows and other stuff. Just nobody wants to find hair. Hair is the grossest. For some reason, I don't know why, hair freaks people out. So um, we also like to do white sheets or like white-ish. These are gray. Um, so you can bleach them and you can really see what's on them. Um, nobody wants to stay in your grandma's quilt because you know what's growing in your grandma's quilt? Who knows? Mites, bugs, gross stuff. So white, clean sheets. My wife won't even stay in an Airbnb unless there's like white sheets <laughs> so we can white covers so we can see what's going on 
don't want to be crawling into a mystery bed. So um, Costco was doing a deal for like $40 for a king size uh, full set. So we bought five um, so we can always be rotating them out. You don't want to be doing laundry every day. Um, but clean good, get a good vacuum. We got a, a super vacuum after our other one died because we're you're cleaning every day um, unless you're hiring a, clean, hiring a cleaning service. But I recommend cleaning yourself for the first few times just so you can know what people need and what to expect and you can kind of teach them how to do it. Um, we cleaned for two years our basement until we uh, finally hired some high school girls to help us out. Um, but you want to make sure it's clean, it has soap, has all the things that people need. Clean, clean, clean. Uh, last tip before I let you go is to stay in other Airbnbs and see what you like and don't like and take notes and um, yeah, just invest a little bit of time to see what other people do even in, around your neighborhood, see what your competition's like um, and uh, yeah, just have fun. It's a fun thing. Uh, we made like 20 grand a year in the basement when the three years we were doing it. Um, so it's, it's a good it's a good income, so invest some time, some energy, run to Ikea, get some cute stuff, um, and have a good time. And meet people if you can. Like if you live on the property, that's kind of the fun part of Airbnb is that you get to interact with your guests. I know a lot of people are like running professional Airbnbs these days where they have a dozen of them and they just kind of farm out all the stuff. But it's, I don't know, I feel like it's supposed to be like a, a hospitality thing where you get to meet people and invite them into your your life for a little bit um, so yeah I think that's all my tips if anyone else has other tips you can leave them below in the comments if you think I blew it just <laughs> let me know and don't forget to hit like that helps me get more views so I can make more videos um, and I think I think that's all peace out